All right, the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games road race route has been revealed. Always very exciting to see what's going to happen in the Olympic road race. It looks pretty similar, like, type of riders who are going to be win competing uh, as the Rio Olympics. Maybe a little bit more climbing. So this is the men's one. Total distance, 234 kilometers. Total elevation, 4,865. That is going to be an absolutely brutal day out for the boys. Uh, they will not be enjoying that, some of them. But you can see, so they go up the Daoshi Road, uh, the first one, then have another little climb, descent, climb, descent, climb, descent. Probably will be either a solo breakaway or a little bunch sprint. I'm obviously very reduced. Then we have the women's race. Oh, yeah, it's useless. They don't do anything exciting. They don't go up Mount Fuji or anything. They really have a bad one. But I'm going to rant about that in a little bit because that really pisses me off. I don't understand why I can't just make them at least similar. Um, but you can see here they're sort of not... It's not really a lap, lap circuit, I don't think. Oh, no, there is a little lap here, actually, in the Fuji International Circuit. Um, and the guys seem to have a little couple more loops, but normally there's a lot more loops going on. But anyway, um, the women's race will only have 2,700 metres of climbing. Um, the two ascents, so a few days at the beginning of the climb, but it's gradualized, interrupted by a few sharp descents. Steep gradients that seem to appear to the top. Um, it's slightly steeper. And then, what does it say? Basically, it's going to be an undulating 17.7 kilometer lap for the women. And the men are going to have Mount Fuji, which is steep. Um, a lot of steepness going on there. Like, I think it's 9% for a long time. Um, I can't remember exactly. I think it's 9% for like 10, at least 10 kilometers. So yeah, it's, it's pretty good for the boys. Uh, but yeah, what really pisses me off about this? You're like, alright, it's going to be a good circuit. It's going to be a good circuit. Trust. And then you're like, well, but why don't the women do Fuji? Like, why not? It makes zero sense. They're like, they do these two climbs and then just sort of descend and do some rolling laps. It's like, come on, like, just get them up Fuji. Like, I don't understand why all the road race circuits, especially the Worlds and the Olympics, are just so different for the men and women. Like, it's not that hard. You just have to think, like, the women aren't going to do as many kilometers at the bottom of the climb. Like, here is pointless, just... If they really cared about it, they just try and, like, create the races very similar, but maybe just don't have as much ambling along, which the guys have, because the guys want more kilometers than the girls. That's fair enough. But I just don't understand why they don't, like, include the same, like, key things. It's like the women's race in um, Doha, Qatar, they had no crosswinds. It was just, like, a loop race where they were just, like, a circuit race. And I was like, well, that's so dumb, but the guys got the crosswinds. It's like, why don't the girls get the crosswinds as well? It makes no sense. And then... Last year in um, Norway, they had the Mount Floyen, where the guys got to finish the time trial up there, but the girls not, didn't get to finish their time trial up here. This year um, in Innsbruck, the guys get to go up this real steep climb. It gets up to 25%. Nibli said it's absolutely horrible. Do the girls get to go up it? Nope. And I just don't get it. It's like, why not? And then this year in Austria, they were like, oh, yeah, but we can't because um, we can only close the road twice. Like once, sorry. But then that's bullshit because the like amateurs can have a sportive up there. And you're like, just make the courses similar. And I don't understand why it always happens that they just, they always mess up the women's race. Like, okay, elite, under, like under 23 is, yeah, no one really cares about that race enough, fair enough. But like the men and women's races, just have them very similar, have the same spectacles. It doesn't make any sense why just because you're a woman, you can't do the same, like, not necessarily the same races, but the same, like, exciting points of the race. Like, why can't they go up Fuji? It's just so stupid. Like, that's going to be so exciting for the men. They're going to go up a real fat climb. But the women, it's like, nah, you can't do it. It's just it's just retarded. And I just don't understand why they don't have similar routes. But maybe someone at the UCI will comment on this video and let me know why. But I feel like they won't. And the UCI and the Olympic... I don't know who decides this course, to be fair. I don't know if it... Ah, oh, yeah, it is the UCI who do the course. So I don't understand, well, actually, that doesn't surprise me that the UCI are useless. So it's probably why they, they've developed a useless course for the women. But anyway, this is my rant over. I just, I'm just still, like, confused. And if I was a female rider, I'd be very angry that they just don't have any, like, the races are quite dissimilar. But anyway, cheers for watching. What are your thoughts on the 2020 Olympic road race? Who will win it? I think it's going to be, well, it's, it's quite a long way off. But, like, Alaphilippe probably will win it, in my opinion. He's, um, it sort of suits him. A lot of climbs, flat finished and uh, sprint so yeah it's going to be interesting anyway cheers for watching and i will see you in the next video